Hello Mouses! It's the news on Tuesday. Let's get straight to it because some of this is a little bit complex. Google is in the news again because it started its court battle against Microsoft in which it's trying to ban the Xbox in Germany and the United States. The reason it's doing this is because of patent problems. These particular patents are described as FRAND type. Apparently this is some weird acronym that patent lawyers use because it sounds clever and it's basically, it sums up certain patents which have become central to technologies as patents that should be distributed on fair, reasonable and non-discriminatory terms. Basically, these patents that you hold are central to the core of technology and features in technology that have become so ingrained with the psyche of the public that they are classed now as fundamental requirements for technology. So basically you are expected to license these patents to people who want to incorporate this kind of technology into their products as features in a way that doesn't make their use of your patents completely worthless because they're too expensive because you're asking stupid amounts. Microsoft's saying that asking stupid amounts is exactly what Google's doing. In order to license its Wi-Fi technologies and its H.264 codecs for video playing, Google is wanting about $2.4 billion. Microsoft says that a fair and reasonable non-discriminatory license would come in at about a million dollars. That's a hell of a difference. So, the court has to have a look at this and say, are Google asking far too much for what should be a market standard technology? This is the reason why I think that core technologies should be licensable and granted to the public on open source terms. Basically, what we need, instead of just having the patent office, we need open patents. Basically, you can register that you have created this technology and it works like this way, in a way that you would put together a patent application, but you send it to the open patent office and it becomes, right, this person must be acknowledged as the creator of this technology and their contributions must be acknowledged in your documentation with your technology that you use, that you build using their patents, but you don't have to pay anything for them. So fundamental things like, like, the, like old vaccines, penicillin, polio vaccines, that kind of thing. Things that are fundamental to life should be open patent. And there should be a reverse thing to open patent some of these. I'm very much in favour of doing that. But new technologies, it's hard to determine when you should have a mandatory conversion to open patent. I think when something becomes so fundamental to technology, like the idea of the look and feel of Windows. Sorry guys, but all of those court cases in the 90s about all these other features that look like Windows, well, yeah, they look like Windows because that becomes fundamental. Now, everything looks like Windows, to a certain extent. That kind of look and feel should be an open patent. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, we're getting off the topic because Google are currently trying to ban sales of Xbox, Windows 7, and a few other things. Well, is that why Windows 8's come out so quick? Who knows? But it could be. But anyway, that's basically what I'm doing. Google is throwing around its weight the way that Microsoft used to. Now Microsoft, of all people, are standing up to them going, no, stop being a patent bully. So, this is weird, but I am actually further and further on the side of Microsoft in these last few years because they've suddenly become guys who go, hey, come on guys, let's just do things properly. Let's not be arseholes about all of this. Let's make our money fairly. And I'm going to support them. So, well done there. And I hope that the judge rules in Microsoft's favour in this. Because, let's face it, if the judge does rule in Microsoft's favour, we all benefit. Moving on, Google's been summoned to Parliament in the UK to explain why, despite the fact that it's had over £2.5 billion of profits in the UK in the last year, it's paid corporation tax of £3.3 million. Now, I'd like to remind you that in Britain, corporation tax is 20%. That's not £3.3 million. That's an awful lot more. So... Google have basically explained that they funnel as much money as they can to Ireland, which is where they have their main European office, because that's where they pay only 12.5% of 
of corporation tax, and a lot of their other profits are channeled to Bermuda because it's a tax haven. Google are basically funneling as much money as possible out of Europe, not just the UK, but Europe, they're being investigated in France as well, to keep as much money as possible and to prevent them from to pay their fair share. So, Google, I have to admit, are not the only companies doing this. We've covered Starbucks before, and Amazon are also doing this. They've had their Jersey business for a long time, and they've paid no corporation tax. No corporation tax this year whatsoever. And when their head guy was summoned to Parliament, he acted like a complete dick. He refused to answer as many questions as possible, and well, those that he did answer, he answered so badly, they've now got to summon another head of Amazon to answer the questions again. I can't believe this. This guy thought it was acceptable to come before the people who run the damn country and then act like a complete idiot. I'll let you in on a secret. It's not acceptable. I cannot believe these companies. So, I suggest that this year, don't go with Amazon. You want to buy some books from somewhere, find somewhere else. There will be another company that's playing by the rules, that's providing cheap books for you. And I'm not going to say which one to go for, but I will say, if you can avoid Amazon this year, do it. Because they do not deserve your business. Okay, the final news item I want to talk about today is a woman who managed to claim £85,000 in benefits over a three-year period by pretending her son had cancer. She shaved his hair, she shaved off his eyebrows, she made him use a wheelchair for three years and managed to claim £85,000 in benefits and a holiday to Florida, during which time she also made him use the wheelchair so that they could get through to the front of queues so that she didn't have to wait because she's a lazy, pig-ignorant bitch. This woman deserves the jail sentence that she's just got and I'm glad that her son has been taken away from her because she managed to convince him that he was ill. This is mental abuse of the highest order. This is terrible, making a kid think he's going to die just so that you can get some money. This woman is a disgrace. All of these high profile cases and the routine cases that we all know about because we've seen it but we can't do anything about makes the argument that most people are claiming benefits legitimately quite shaky. And I don't like that. So I'm glad she's got caught but I know she's not the end of it. And that makes me sad. Okay, I'm going to end now because that is quite a sad note, but there's nothing else I can say really. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you liked it, remember to click the like button, share it with your friends so that they can see what's been going on in the world as well. And subscribe for future videos because I will be back tomorrow with more. So, until next time, I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson, you've been watching the Knob Mouse channel, and I'll see you tomorrow.